back with another episode. It has been quite a while since the last one. I have been mega busy and I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to grab everything. I think I've remembered everything. I've got projects behind me that you can see. I've got happy mail. I've got some books. I've got some finished objects. So I've got all the ingredients to make the podcast. Let's just hope that it's not, I say this every time and it's just a bit of a joke now, isn't it? I am, I've got a timer here <laughs> and I am gonna keep checking it to make sure it's um, not too long because that's the problem when you go so long between filming that the podcasts get really long. And I know lots of you say you don't mind it because you can watch part of it and then come back and finish off um, which I do, um, but from an editing point of view, it's a lot quicker if you've obviously not got as much to edit. So let's see if we can keep this to a reasonable amount of time. So in case it's the first time you are watching, my name is Sheree and I am from the UK. I live in a really lovely part of the UK, right by the sea. And I live with my husband, three children, pussycat, and we are due to get a hamster soon. Um, my youngest daughter is going to be turning six soon, and um, she's finally persuaded us to get her a hamster. Well, I didn't really need much persuading, to be honest. Um, yeah, but of course you can come and find me on Instagram. I will pop up my details on the screen as well as all the details down below in the show notes. Um, I have been a lot better at updating my Ravelry page. So if you do use Ravelry, you'll find a link down below that will take you over to the projects that I chat about. And that will be, um, you'll find more details in terms of what needle sizes I'm using, what yarn, um, the pattern. So it's always worth having a look um, because sometimes I may not um, get back to you as quickly on comments. Um, but yeah, that's it. So should we start? Um, let's start with whips because I kind of do everything back to front, don't I? Do people mainly share their finished objects there first? I always share my whips first, but let's start. So I decided to make a summer tea. This is the Mount Pleasant tea and here's a picture. It is a paid for pattern and it is by Pip and Pin. Pip and Pin, yep. Yeah. And what I loved about this pattern was that it used, it just uses two skeins. Um, I am knitting the size one, two, three, the fourth size in. I can't remember now, but I did measure um, my bust and everything. I'm knitting the larger size because I don't want it too, too tight. Um, and I'm sure by the time it blocks out, it will be, um, it will show up the detail really pretty. Um, really pretty, the detail really pretty. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I am using this lovely yarn, which has been hand dyed and naturally hand dyed by Girl Rock Fibres. And this is BFL Masham four ply fingering British wool spun by Laxton's. And it is in, so it's been hand dyed with Madder and it is in the colorway Pecan Pie, which I just love that. And the color is stunning and it feels amazing. I'm hoping on the camera it's kind of giving off the difference, the texture. I haven't got, well, I have got other yarn to compare it to, but I'm going to make this podcast long if I just go off on one, aren't I? Which I already am. But yeah, it's lovely. Really lovely yarn. And I did have to order some needles. I am using Knit Pro Basics. Basics. And I'm using what the pattern suggests, which is 3.75. And then you start off, I think, with a bigger needle or a smaller needle. I can't remember now. I think you start off with a smaller needle and it is worked from the bottom up. And it has this really pretty um, 
what's it say here? Lacy hem. Really nice. Actually found that quite um, relaxing and really enjoyable because the pattern um, works up really quickly and you get to see how pretty the, um, the open lace eyelets and details look as you start knitting it. So I've done the tricky part and it's a case of now I just need to knit for for quite a while. So that is like just simple TV knitting. TV knitting and it smells amazing because I've um, taken this soap. You might have seen this one if you watched my previous episode. This was living in my project bag when I was knitting the Sophie shawl and it still smells incredible. So if you have any soaps or if you ever if you're ever out and about and you come across and you're visiting a certain place that has lots of lovely fragrant soaps and you're thinking oh these are really lovely but what am i going to use them for um they are great for popping in your project bags and keeping your um your projects smelling really nice lovely so that is in there so that's the first whip i'm going to show you and that's in my advent <laughs> That's in my advent um, basket. This is what I normally use at Christmas time to put my yarn advents in. So that's that one. And then I've got quite a few sock whips, which is really funny because I got my socks, my sock whips down to a reasonable amount. And then um, the summer sock camp started. So I'm blaming UK, <laughs> blaming K um, from the crazy sock lady. Um, so let's let me open all the bags oh that's my timer going off for my sourdough so i'm just going to go and turn that off and i will be back this is how my sourdough's looking because we were away last week so it needed um some life put back into it basically it was very hungry so that's where so i fed it this morning that's where it was and that's where it's got to now which is brilliant because after i film this i plan to get this one ready um and i'm hoping to bake a loaf with it tomorrow morning so there you go right enough sourdough chat let's get back to the socks right 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 let's open up all the projects what have you got here two four five <laughs> I went from getting, I had three sock whips, I managed to get it down to just one, and then I managed to then cast on four. Yeah, okay. Anyway, we won't, we won't go into that. So I still have not finished these, but I'm really close to finishing them. So I can't remember if I had finished one on the last episode. So I have one completed sock. And I am past the heel on the second sock. I'm knitting these on deep ends. So you've done the heel. I did a shadow wrap heel. That heel really fits my heel. <laughs> really fits. It's a really good fit. Um, but on my other two that I'm going to do, I am going to actually have a go at doing um, a traditional heel flap and gusset because I always used to do them and that is a lovely fit but every so often it's nice just to change things isn't it but with doing this type of heel it's a quick heel and I've done so many now that I don't even need to refer to a um, pattern and in case you're wondering what a shadow wrap heel is and if you like um, a quick heel and you want to give it a go have a look on Denise's YouTube channel, Earth Tones Go. She has such a lovely voice. I love listening to her and she explains everything so well. Her tutorial is fantastic. And that's the one I use um, to do this. So as you can see, I'm on the foot now. So it's just the pattern on the front and then it's just knit on the back. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking off the stitch markers from this sock as I'm um, working my way through this one and that's it again you'll be able to um, find all the details um, in on my project page which is listed down below so that that just needs to get done 
Do you know some projects that you think you know they're nearly done but for some reason you just don't end up finishing them off and then you end up just casting on four more socks? That's kind of just what happened. Uh, right, let's go with this one. So this one is living in one of my project bags that I made and this yarn is absolutely gorgeous. They're all gorgeous yarns. Um, this, I'm knitting this one on Magic Loop actually, and this is a sock set by Homespun House, and it is the colourway Dancing in the Street, and whenever I've shared this one on Instagram, um, I've always had lots of lovely replies saying how beautiful the yarn is. Look at all those really fun colours. I love how each row you knit when a little pop of colour pops onto your needle it's it's um it's really lovely and I am knitting the bookshelf socks and this is a pattern by Becky and let me show you a picture it's a really lovely texture it's a paid for pattern I have a Ravelry project page set up but if I put the sock onto the side there you can see how um, it looks like lots of books all um, in a row on a bookshelf. And the sock set comes with two minis, a really rich orangey, I want to call that like a Fanta colour, Fanta orange, and this really lovely bluey, I wouldn't say it's, is it a turquoise shade? Maybe. But I'm going to do the toe in the orange and I will do the heel in the main colour. So I am doing that sock and one of my happy mails um, that I've got to share with you in a bit is some lovely yarn that I ordered from Molly and when I bought that um, sock set, which I'll show you in a bit, she very kindly put this one in. So thank you, Molly. I have thanked Molly. Um, Right, getting myself in a tangle. So that's that one. And then this one is living in this project bag, which is really lovely, all cups, all stacked up. And this was a Bumble and Stitches bag by Nicola. Um, and I got this in a D-stash from Nicola. Um, love the fabric. And the great thing about drawstrings is if you are knitting on the go, you can put them on your um, wrist. Right, so. This is just a plain vanilla one and this is using an opal yarn and I think this was like a special from a special collection it says 25 so I think it's 25 years I'm guessing and it doesn't have a colorway uh, name as such it has a number um, so I will hold that up there I'm not sure if that will pick it up but again details will be on the project page on Ravelry and I've only just done the cuff. I'm doing these on DPNs as well. I've done the cuff. And that's the yarn. I love how rustic the commercial yarns feel for the socks. The commercial sock yarn. It's really nice. Obviously, it's really nice when you're knitting with hand dyed yarn. Um, but knitting with the rustic sock yarn it just feels really lovely and plus especially in, at the win in the winter times in the colder months it just feels really nice so um what's that pattern come from oh that's that one yes yeah, so that's just a plain vanilla sock that one and then next up i've got a project living in this project bag which is another bag made by me and this lovely yarn is by Dandelion and Dogwood, and this was another sock set. This is their new logo, and they recently relaunched their website. They've got such a fantastic range of yarn colorways. Have a look on their website. I'll leave links to everyone down below. Um, and so the main color, so this sock set is called Water Sports on the Lake. These are the two contrasting minis that came with the sock set. They're beautiful, aren't they? You've got like an aqua mint and then you have this peach mini skein and it's on their Superwash Merino 8020 high twist. I really enjoy knitting on high twist. D 
do you enjoy high twist or you do you prefer um single plot no what do you call it if it's not high twist normal <laughs> normal twist <laughs> what do you prefer or you're not really that bothered um yeah their logo is lovely isn't it um so i am knitting i'm gonna knit a pair of shorties and i've already done the heel i am just two more rounds off completing the gusset stitches and i am knitting the rhinebeck roomies pattern which is a pattern by k from the crazy sock lady i, ha I didn't print off the, the main picture my dear, I've got a little picture, I'll just hold it like this. The texture's really lovely and it's a really simple pattern that you can easily um, remember the repeats. Um, once I've done further, once I've got further on, it'll probably show the texture uh, better, but the yarn is lovely with this um, pattern really lovely and I'm knitting them on nine inch circulars. I seem to have lots of nine inch circulars. I think I went for a phase of liking nine inch circulars. Then I went for a phase of not liking them because they were hurting my wrist. Um, and I also find that if I knit socks on a nine inch circular, they come, the te my tension's just that little bit looser. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what these will be like. Um, what I love about the name Water Sports on the Lake, it reminds me of our holiday that we recently went on last week. We went to Cyprus for the week and it was amazing. The beaches are absolutely beautiful and we, the beach that we visited most days had a little area that was full of water sports that you could go and do. And um, we took the children on this really cool ride. It was called UFO and we, it was like a blow up, um, how can I describe it? It's like a massive blow up circular thing that you sit on, you hold on, you've all got life jackets and then you're, um, you're tied up to a um, boat that's like obviously, like a speedboat that's taking you around and you're going over the waves and the water's splashing and it was fantastic, really good. There was another one, I can't remember the name of it, where um, you actually twist around, but we thought that would have been too much, especially for my five-year-old, but this one, she loved it. And so the name Water Sports on the Lake, it just reminds me of our holiday, which is really lovely. Um, and obviously you've got the lovely colours there of the sea. In love it um and um in a minute when i share my happy mail um i've got some more dandelion and dogwood colorways to show you they very kindly reached out and um asked if they um, could send some yarn so which was really lovely thank you very much i have thanked them um but yeah have a look at their lovely colorways that they've got on there there's some really beautiful ones i think that's everything put that in there it's always um a big tidy up isn't it after you film a podcast right pop that there how are we doing we're not doing bad so my final sock is in this project bag which is by the little grey girl um Gemma has some really lovely project bags and I love how her pyramid one you can put on your wrist like this. This is great for knitting on the go because um, I know I said about normal drawstring bags, but I guess if you want it where it's a little bit closer to your wrist. And I think she's come out with a new design, actually, for a project bag um, where you can ha carry it on your wrist, but it's a little bit bigger because... Uh, the only thing I find with this one is perfect if you've just got like a like for instance this is perfect for this size but if you are knitting with something a bit bigger it's just not quite big enough but her new design for her bag um is perfect for that right put that in there so my next my final one should I say is I'm doing a little knit along with my friend Stacy who has the Heartmore podcast and um, she asked if um, I wanted to do a little sock along with her um, which um, we decided or she'd said 
how about we do a self-striping one? So this is kind of, um, it's still for summer sock camp, but we, we both decided let's do a self-striping one. And I've got some really beautiful self-striping yarn that I've not knitted with yet. One of which is this one. And it's been in my stash a really long time. And it is by Laughing Yaffle. And she is on Instagram and also on Etsy. This is from her Etsy shop and it's in the colorway Serenade. It is beautiful. I've done every single colour there. So that's the full repeat now. But just look at that yarn. Is that not absolutely stunning? Absolutely love it. Um, I don't think she has regular updates. So, um, and they don't stay long in a, well, I mean, you can, you can tell why they don't stay long in her Etsy shop because just look at that. Um, so you need to be quick. Um, she does put on her Instagram when an update is going to come up. So, um, keep an eye out and I am knitting the Rhinebeck Roomies pattern and I can't find I think I've put it away in one of those project bags um the Rhinebeck Roomies pattern by K Crazy Sock Lady and I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying it and I'm doing it on nine inch circulars and that's it there's nothing else to say I think I've done a project page for it so if you need to go back and check and I knit all my socks on 2.5s. My tension is, I, I tend to be a little bit tighter with knitting, but for some reason, when I crochet, I'm loose. Figure that out. Uh, right, I think that is it. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's not. Right, let me have a sip of my water because I feel like I'm going at a rate of, I don't know what, and it's really hot here in the UK. Three more projects. I'm going to show you this one first. So I have started making some dishcloths. I'm trying to get on the ball with gift knitting for, um, I've got some birthdays coming up soon. Um, my mum's birthday. Um, and so I know she loves her dish class. So I put an order in with Wool Warehouse a little while ago. And these are all the, whoops. These are all the sugar and cream yarns by Lily. I probably said that in the wrong, wrong order, but you know, who knows what he means. So I, I ordered four different ones. Not committed. Well, I've got pins and needles now. I ordered these four. I ordered two in this one because I wanted one. So this one is going to be for my mum. What's this colourway called? Oh. Spring Swell. That's what it's called. Spring Swell. So I've made that one there. So that's technically a finished object, isn't it? And then I ordered two of these. I made one for a friend as a gift. And this is red, white, and blue. And I I um I made the I made it for her around when it was the King's coronation, and that's why I wanted those colours. So this, I haven't weighed roughly how much I get left over, but it won't bother me if I have to join another colour in because they're dishcloths. Does not matter. They're cleaning. They're for cleaning. Um, and then I ordered this one, which is pot of puree. Who remembers pot of puree? Oh my, that is like a blast from the past, isn't it? I remember that when it used to be a thing and then you'd buy the oil to top it up with because after a while it would lose its um, fragrance, its smell. Um, that one looks like a really fun one, doesn't it? So I ordered that one and then I ordered this one. I really like this one. I was kind of going for like a, a red, white and blue thing. And this one is American Stripes. I think that is going to be lovely when that's knitted up. So I've got those ones. That's kind of like Happy Mail. That comes under Happy Mail as well. Um, what am I knitting them on? I am knitting them on Knit Pro Novas. I think I'm using a four and a half or a four. 
Do you know, the only thing that's annoying about these needles is they don't have them on the, uh, don't, they don't have the size on the needle or on the cord, which I find that really annoying because sometimes I mix, I mix them up. That says it's a four, but I thought I was knitting them on a four and a half, but maybe it is a four. And I am using the Grammar's dishcloth pattern and I'm knitting the no holes version. And this is a free pattern that you can find on Ravelry and I have made a project page for it. So that's that. I'll put that in there. That's that one. And that is in my really lovely Urban Stitch, the Urban Stitcher project bag. You've seen me show this one. Love Angie's project bags. Um, oh, and I had my little Sandy by the Lakeside pouch with that one, actually. I love this pouch. I've got all bits and pieces in there. Love it. Right, put that back in there. Okay, last up. No, it's not. <laughs> Second to last is this project here. And this is in my Mountain State Stitches project bag. It is a Christmas one. I don't care. I'll happily use Christmas project bags all through the year. <laughs> because I just love Christmas and I was so this is actually a project that I frogged that I didn't say I was gonna frog so this was a scattering petals cowl but I frogged it and since then I have started a crochet blanket and I have wanted to make a rectangle crochet blanket for years years and years and so I finally decided to do it and I thought you know what I'm gonna do it with the um, advent calendar from Blush Yarns and so I have been slowly winding up the yarn I'm holding it double I am using a size 4 crochet hook this is the tulip crochet hooks they are my favorite hooks I've said that for many a years um, and yeah, that's it. I cannot remember the pattern that the tutorial that I used to start off with. I just needed something to help me start off the, the centre with. And then it's just, you just, yeah. You don't really need to look at a pattern then. It's just uh, crochet trebles. Um, and then you just need to remember to do your corners. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it ever so slightly different than the pattern actually on the tutorial. Um, because I'm turning and I'm trying, no, I'm not. I am following what she said, I think, to try and keep it where your um, your edges are straight rather than keep going round and round. Um, but anyway, I'll leave a link to the tutorial that I used. But this is how it's looking. Really enjoying that one. And then lastly, oh my days. If you were following me on Instagram and you watched all those stories I put up about the um, Cozy Memories square, the little patchwork knitted square, the saga, the square saga, I called it, um, because I couldn't, I wanted to do another one. I've got my rainbow one that I've shared. I still haven't done a border on it, but many, um, lots and lots of you said to put an I called, I called border on it, I think you said. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, but I wanted to start a new one. And do you know what? I spent so long. I actually, I genuinely gave myself a headache because I was just overthinking everything. I, um, I've got it in this little basket. Um, I was using different needle sizes, different stitch counts. Then I did three versions. I put it on Instagram. I did a poll. Um, I've now settled on knitting 2.5 what did I know? 2.25. I'm still going to knit with a 2.25 because I found my squares were coming out neater. I did try 2.5 and my squares were just not as neat. So I'm going to stick to the 2.25 needles and I am knitting 25 by 25. Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> am I? <laughs> One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, I'm doing 20 by 20. That's what I'm doing. I have set up a project page. I've just um, 
I did this before I went on holiday and then since then, well, you know what it's like, can't remember what you did yesterday. That's what my brain's like. Um, yeah, I think it's 20 by 20. Um, so I've done that little square and I'm using some little leftovers from, I think these, these little bits that I've got in here were from the Blush Yarns Advent Calendar. I think when I frogged the Advent, there were some little bits that were just too small, I think. Can't remember now. Um, so I've got that. Whips are done. We are going to move on to finish objects. I've got three, two socks, and I've got my Sophie shawl because I don't think I shared it on the last episode. I've sewn in the ends. Can't remember the front and the back. Not that it matters because when it's on, nobody's going to know, are they? I haven't frogged it. I've, I've frogged it. I haven't blocked it. I don't plan to block it either. I'm not. I'm not a blocker, to be fair. <laughs> I'm super lazy, um, but if something definitely needs blocking, I will. Right, I've put a little bulb stitch mark there, so I think this must be the front. I am going to enjoy wearing this in the winter and wrapping myself around and get myself all snug. It's going to be lovely. I love it. And um, I've already got yarn to start another one. So if you haven't already made one of these and you are looking for something that is just really simple, really mindless, or maybe you're new to knitting, I would definitely recommend doing something like this. So that's done. And the yarn that I used was beautiful. I don't know if I've done a project page. I will do a project page and put all the details on there. And the other two items that I finished are two socks. I finally finished my Hocus Pocus socks and this was a socks. Um, so this yarn, the main colorway, sorry, I was gonna say it was a sock set, it wasn't. I had a mini skein set, which are all the um, colors for the cuffs and toes. That was a mini skein set by Suzanne, Green Lampkin Yarn. And it was, um, she called the mini set, um, I Smell Children. And then the main colourway is trick, trick or Treat. And it's just, oh, I just love that yarn. It's gorgeous. Very Halloween-y. Love it. And I just did plain vanilla socks and I did a shadow wrap heel. And that was it. So they are going to be put away, ready for the autumn. Really enjoyed knitting them. And I know Suzanne is um, already thinking about Halloween already in terms of, yarn and colours and that I just yeah I love Halloween and I love Christmas time I just I love autumn I think they're still my favourite times of the year my second finished object are these Christmas socks very much exactly the same as my Halloween ones they're just plain vanilla socks this was a sock set by Biff Sugar Yarns um Alison dyes such pretty colourways and I can't remember the name of the um, the colourway. This was a sock set. Um, so you've got this um, really pretty. Would you say that's like a, no, that's is that turquoise. That's more of like a turquoise colour, isn't it? So you've got this one and then you've got this really pretty pink. I got my little Christmas tree stitch marker by Lindsay Simply Serving. Um, I don't know, is, was it called All, All I Want for Christmas? I can't remember now. Um, I think I've got a project page set up for that one, but it's lovely. The yarn is so pretty. I've got enough left to make a pair of shorty socks. Um, I think I'm going to make a little pair of Christmas socks for Jessie because um, she really likes this yarn. She loves it. So that's my finished objects. Okay, next up is happy mail and i have had this squirreled away for a little while um i ordered this sock set from molly when i saw she would put this on her instagram and on her instagram stories and whenever she shares her new sock sets they always look so fun bright cheery i love them especially um I love that the fact that she has um, 
socks knitted in the yarn so that you get to see what it looks like because the yarn looks so different in a skein like this compared to when it's actually knitted up I haven't got um, something to show you but um, it looks totally different doesn't it so it's really nice to be able to see what the yarn looks like knitted up so I really like that um, and yeah so when I saw this sock set I knew I had to buy it so this is called Unicorn Dust and I can't remember what pattern she had this one knitted in I think it was the hearth pattern by Dana Ray Makes um, and I do have that pattern but I got a feeling I changed my mind and I was going to make something else but I can't remember but I am not casting any more socks on for a minute but it, um but at least I can put it in my cabinet now because I've had it in had it in the bag that it came in so absolutely love that one and I think Molly still has this one and dancing in the street in her shop but I know she's got more sock um she's got more colorways coming out so keep an eye out for that and then the next lot of yarn that I want to show you is the lovely yarn that was kindly sent to me by Dandelion in Dogwood and I've got this sock set which I picked and this is on their Dogwood sock and this is double denim I mean look at that is that not stunning 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 I love the sock sets when they come with too many skeins because it's just great for doing the contrasting heel toe cuff or even if you don't want to um and you just want to knit a sock in the, in the main colorway these little minis are just great for going into scrappy projects or you know you could save them up throughout the year couldn't you and then make your own little advent with them um but i love this pop of color a pop of pink i think is just so much fun in any project so yeah that one there and this is on their 80 20 uh, high twist so I've got that one and then I picked this colorway because but you can't guess what I'm gonna make with it I'm gonna make a Sophie shawl with it I absolutely love this colorway hubba bubba so much fun that really bright fun pink absolutely love it and this is on their pillow Aran base 100% superwash merino and they have got some really beautiful solid shades. They had a really lovely coral and they also had, oh, was it? I think it was like a minty color, I think. And that was also stunning. And yeah, so this is gonna be a Sophie shawl for sure. So that's all the yarn out of the way. Next up, oh, it's a bit noisy outside, isn't it? I think that's an aeroplane or a helicopter actually. Yeah, I think it's above the house. Or it's just going over the house. Uh, I won a giveaway on Instagram. Now I won this quite a while ago. And this is by So Scrumptious. It was um, a giveaway that they were running and I was tagged in it by a friend and then, you know, you know the drill you then tag someone in it type thing and um yeah they contacted me to say that i won it so i'm going to show you what it is this is one of their fabric stash boxes um i've got their little leaflet here actually um so you can find them on instagram and facebook so scrumptious and their website is www.soscrumptious.co.uk and it was a Liberty box. And I think I had two different colorways to pick from. And this is the colorway that I picked. I think it was called London Parks. There's so many lovely fun fabrics in here. I'll pick out some of my favorites and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. Um, did I say that they were Liberty fabrics? I think I did. You might be able to hear my washing machine's gonna finish in a minute. Liberty Fabrics, so I love that print there. I love the colours. That one was one that stuck out to me. I love this one because it's got all dogs on it. Love dogs. That was a fun one. It's got a Dalmatian on it as well. And what was the other one that I really liked? I 
think this was Jessie's favourite, actually. Is this Jessie's favourite? She really liked the dogs as well. I think she liked this one as well. But there's lots in here full. Oh, I like this one because it was really, um, I thought it was really um, retro. Um, like had a, a really cool granny vibe to it. I really like that one because it had daffodils on it. And I am going to make a hot water bottle cover. And I'm going to use the pattern by Jules, So Sweet Violet. And this is her Hexi hot water bottle cover. I'm sure many of you have seen it online because it is so pretty. It's such a lovely project. Let me take out this one to show you because it can show you what it can look like. Um, oh, I just love it. I just really love it. That one's been done with squares, that one's with hexes, and that looks like it's a solid fabric. And um, yeah, you can buy the pattern from Jules on her website. Really lovely. So that is the plan of action. That is what so that is what I plan to make with these fabrics. I think it'd be really nice. And I keep saying every episode, oh, I'm going to get my hexes back out. I'm going to do a sewing project. I'm going to do. But do you know, I was chatting to um, my friend the other day and um, I was saying to her that sometimes I am very much of the mindset that if I don't see something, if it's not like literally staring me in the face, I forget about it. And so that's why quite often I have to have um, projects out. Because if I don't, if they're not there, I totally forget about them. And every so often I'll have a little sort out and I'll be like, blimey, I forgot all about that. I forgot I had that. Um, and so, um, yeah, let me know. Are you, are you a little bit like that? I'm just folding them up now. And I'm going to move on to books now. Books, TV, that type of thing. Um, how And how have you all been? Cause it's been so long i think the last time i filmed a podcast i was um i was blonde wasn't i and i changed and um in case you're wondering why i mean i'm naturally a brunette anyway i'm naturally dark um but the upkeep on blonde hair i loved having blonde hair i i loved it but the upkeep and the fact that i have i do have such naturally dark hair that um my roots would show so so quickly i'm gonna go back to having dark dark hair um and yeah that's it nothing really exciting um, i have been so i'm gonna share some favorites actually there's quite a few favorites but i don't have them all with me so maybe i'll save that for next time but i have shared on instagram that i have been really enjoying doing a word search every day I bought this one to take on holiday because this was just too heavy. This is the one I tend to do at home once a day. And this was my holiday one. I actually got this at the airport and yeah, it was really nice to just do one. I use a highlighter pen because I find it easier. Um, yeah, let me know. Do you, do you do a puzzle a day? Do you do a crossword? Do you do a word search? Do you do Sudoku? Um, Sudoku? I can't remember how to pronounce that. Uh, I used to do that. I used to love doing them, but it's too much now. Ooh. Is that Molly? Is she crying? Oh, I think Molly's crying for me and I need to go check on her because she is so old now, bless her, that she doesn't really come downstairs anymore now, which I thought about that the other day. It made me a little bit sad. Um, she's 17 now, which is so old for a cat, isn't it? But I better go check that she's okay because normally it means that she needs something. I'll be back. I was right. She needed to go toilet, bless her. Right, what was I chatting about? I was chatting about TV or books. Word search, that's what I was chatting about, wasn't I? Um, yeah, so let me know. Do you do a puzzle? Do you do... Sometimes I will do Wordle, which is an app online where you have... Um, you have like five chances to try and get a five letter word and you put in different combinations and underneath you've got like um you've got the alphabet 
and um, if you get one letter in the right place it goes a certain colour you've probably all heard of it so sometimes I will do that um, but I'm really enjoying doing a word search really enjoying it so um, it's become part of my daily routine now and uh, what else so reading I did have my Kindle where's that gone I am reading on my Kindle. I took that on holiday with me. I decided not to take any books. I took my Kindle and I was reading and I still am reading. Um, the Is it the fourth or fifth book? It's basically the last book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And um, I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. I um, It's so involved and so much has gone on that I just I'm not even going to attempt to try and explain it to you because there's people out there that explain things a lot better than me, as you already know. Um, and if you are interested in reading that series and you like fantasy, then and you like romance, mm, romance, maybe that's a little bit of a subtle um, <laughs> description um, because it is. Um, it's a bit raunchy in places, I will just say. Um, it's almost like a, a fantasy version of Bridgerton. So if you like that, yeah, I'd say go ahead and get the books. <laughs> um, so I took that one on holiday. I am only a little way into that. I think I'm like 20% into it. Um, but as you can tell by my sock whips, I seem to have taken on that with my books which is just crazy because I only ever used to read one book at a time and now I seem to have like so many books on the go um, which can be a bit too much for me because then I forget what the book what they are so I need to try and just think just focus on one or two books I normally have an audiobook going and I am listening to the seven sisters I think it is on audio um, I think it's the seven sisters so many of you recommended that series to me there's so many books but the audiobook is so long it's like 15 hours long um so i guess they would they must be massive books so i'm listening to that um but because i had to place it on hold i have to return it and i have to go back on hold again to get it back once i'm next in the queue so that's a little bit frustrating but that's okay um i started this one american dirt i am literally I don't even know if I put a bookmark in it. I think I'm only a little way into this one. Um, am I literally like three chapters into it? Three or four chapters. I think I am. Um, and this is about, uh, I can kind of, I, let me read the back of it for you. Um, in a city in the grip of a drug cartel, friends become enemies overnight and Lydia has no choice but to flee with Luca at her side. Luca is her um, son. North for the border, whatever it takes to stay alive. The, the journey is dangerous, not only for them, but for those they encounter along the way. Who can be trusted and what sacrifices is Lydia prepared to make? American dirt shines a beam of light into a world where a mother's love for her son and the kindness of strangers might just triumph. This extraordinary novel has sold over a million copies since publication. It's time to read what you've been missing. So that's that one. Last book that I'm going to chat to you about is this one. And this is The House We Grew Up In by Lisa Jewell, who is one of my favourite authors. I absolutely love her style of writing. I don't think I've read any of her books that I've thought that I didn't enjoy. They literally are that book that you can't put down. Um, love it, love her style. So this is a, so it says here, imagine a picture book cottage in a village, a family in a sun drenched kitchen filled with love and laughter. The years pass, the children become adults. Gradually they lose touch as the secret between them tears them apart. And then something happens that calls them back to the house they grew up in and to what really happened that Easter weekend all those years ago. So um, that is another one that I started. But the chances are I'll probably hold fire on one of these because um, I'm not going to be able to have that many like that. Just will bother me. So I'll probably continue with this one because I've 
read that little bit more and then um i'll probably finish that one after um so that's that so let me know what books you've been reading or listening to um yeah it's always lovely getting book recommendations and if you're ever like looking for one you can always scroll through the comments and have a look um so i think i'm going to finish off with tv i have been watching what have we been watching so we've been watching breaking bad again we love that series and so we are blimey we are like series four now i think we're coming to the end of it i think I th is there five series four or five um so we're really enjoying that i watched the one on netflix the bridgerton one is it called the queen Oh, I've forgotten now. That was really good. I enjoyed it. However, I didn't think it was as good as the Bridgerton ones. There was just something about it that I just... Mm, that was a bit... Mm, I didn't devour the episodes as much as I did with the other Bridgerton series. But there is another series coming out, isn't there? Is it coming out this year? I know they're... Fi Are they filming it? Have they finished? Hmm. let me know because I know there's some hardcore Bridgerton fans out there um what else I have been absolutely loving Yellowstone um on Paramount so I don't know if that's a channel that you're able to get hold of um that is based in America on a ranch it has Kevin Costner um as one of the main characters and I am loving it's so good um Kay recommended that one and um from like the first episode because sometimes with some series you have to watch two or three episodes to to decide if you're gonna like it or not don't you and um from the first episode I was like yeah I was hooked um and that's it I think that's it really tv wise um, this time of year, we're always so busy. We don't really get as much to watch, as much time to watch TV in the evenings. Um, but that's okay, because that's what it's like in the summer, isn't it? It's nice to have the lighter evenings for longest, that you get more done in your day, or you go out for a walk, or you do other bits, which are really nice. So I think that's about it from me. Just looking at the the mess all over the floor um but i hope that you've enjoyed watching this episode and i i'm gonna i'm waiting for my desk to come back for me to do this journaling video that i keep saying i'm gonna do um that you've probably all given up now on me which i wouldn't blame you if you did um but i'm waiting for my desk to come back um i'm gonna put it downstairs and then i'm gonna set it all up and then it'll just be so much easier to show you what I've got um, and talk through what I use, which I think will be a really nice episode. Um, so hopefully I'll get that done. Hopefully it'll be sorted this summertime. Um, I'm not sure about vlogs, um, if I'm gonna do some vlogs in the summer, because I do normally do that, um, kind of do like a weekly vlog or a weekend vlog. It's quite nice to do a vlog, isn't it? And just see what people get up to. Um, but let me know what you've been watching on tv let me know what podcasts you've been watching or vlogs you've been enjoying what patron channels you've been enjoying um i have been watching molly homespun house i'm signed up um and i've got a few i tend to wait till she's uploaded a few and then i can just binge them which is really nice i can sit down for for half an hour or an hour and grab my knitting grab a coffee just sit and watch which i love doing that i think that's a wrap we are finally done so what do we reckon i reckon that's about an hour's worth which isn't too bad um by the time i edit it it might be a little bit less than that but i um yeah i hope you've really enjoyed watching thank you so much for taking the time to come over and watch i know there's so many lovely channels out there so um in time is so precious isn't it so if you have taken the time to sit and watch this i really appreciate it thank you um and I don't think I mentioned, but I've hit 10,000 um, subscribers now, which is amazing. Um, finally got there. <laughs> um, but thank you so much. I really appreciate all the support, you know, just by liking, subscribing, um, leaving a comment, 
watching it just yes yeah, it's, it's all helpful so thank you so much and um i will uh hopefully get more organized so i can um be back sooner thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day a great week a great weekend whenever you might be watching this and take care and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.